Hey, what's up, guys? It's Rafael Astacio here, a.k.a. Ralph Stacks. I'm a 25-year-old Dominican and Puerto Rican artist slash poet coming from Bronx, New York. Now, the way I got into music was from a very young age. You know, I grew up listening to artists like J. Cole, Drake, Kanye, Jay-Z, and these guys kind of gave me that love for making music um, in the first place. But with that being said, I feel like the moment I really started to make music was probably around my junior year of college. You know, I was fortunate enough to, you know, meet one of my good friends now who's actually an upcoming artist himself and for you guys, but he gave me that push that I needed to believe in myself and believe that I actually had the potential to do and make music. So um. Yeah. Uh, yeah, went to church today, now I'm out here feeling lifted Yeah, his presence is a present, got me feeling gifted I'm just trying to stack them bands, trying to get them riches I'm just trying to How I go about making music is very simple You know, I find things that inspire me Could be life situations, could be music Could really be anything, to be honest But I try to find ways to connect with people And relate with them in a personal level I feel like nowadays there's rappers who just talk about, you know, cars or girls or all these other things that really, a lot of people can't really connect to. And I feel like with my music, that's where I'm a little bit different. I feel like I'm a versatile artist where I can talk about those things, but also be able to relate with other people on a personal level and just help them understand that they're not alone in whatever situation that they might be in. So. So I had to be probably around my junior year of college. Um, you know, I ended up meeting with uh, one of my good friends now. He's actually an upcoming artist himself. Shout out my boy Self Kev. But if it wasn't for him, I probably would have never found my love for actually making music. See, there was this one day during um, study hall, he saw me writing on my notes. So he asked me, he said, uh, hey, Ralph, um, what you writing in? So, I gave him my phone and, you know, I was a little embarrassed at first, so I'm not going to lie. I thought he was going to think it was, like, corny or, you know, whatever. But he, um, he gave me this look once he finished reading the poem. And I'll never forget this to this day. Like, he paused and he told me, bro, you got talent, bro. Like, you should really consider writing and making music. And when he told me that, I didn't really, like, think too much of it, but it was just the way he was looking at me. I knew right there that was confirmation that he saw something in me that I didn't even know I had. So from there, kind of like translated into actually making music, actually writing lyrics that connect to the world. Yeah, uh, yeah. Went to church today, now I'm out here feeling lifted. Yeah, his presence is a present, got me feeling gifted. I'm just trying to stack them bands, trying to get them riches. I'm just trying to get the fuck about this Honda Civic. You can never knock me down, remaining on my pivot. I'm just trying to stack it up till I feel like a midget. Beaming for the moon when y'all say sky's the limit. Hope y'all understanding me. If not, then let me be explicit. No promotion, cause the streets raise me. I've been praying to see better, but my vision hates